story all week out of Anderson Township. Families remembering three people that were killed in a crash along I-275 that happened on Friday. Well, tonight we're hearing from the family of a young tri-state mother who died in that wreck. Simone Jameson spoke with that family and has the very latest. Janiah was a bubbly, spontaneous young lady. Very ambitious, a go-getter. She was just the jack of all trades. Like, yeah. she did everything. Lucretia Hyman is remembering her daughter, 22-year-old Janaya Glover, a bubble of light whose life was cut short after a car crash in Anderson Township April 7th, one that took her away from her two-year-old son, Avery. I'm angry. We all are angry. I'm angry. <laughs> what she wanted to do was to raise her baby, you know, and just give him the love that a mother, you know, can give a child. Mm -hmm. And that, that really hurts, you know, to know that she won't be here for him. The family says Janiah, her brother John, and other family members were on their way to their aunt's house, but they were having car trouble and were on the side of the road getting help from AAA. That's when police say a speeding driver lost control of his truck and crashed into them. The impact killed Janiah, family friend Richard Glazer, and AAA driver Keith Skaggs, along I-275 between the five mile road and new Richmond exits. She did not deserve that at all. Mm -hmm. She didn't. She possibly, she, she changed the world anyway, but yeah. she would have changed the world even more because she was a loving person. The crash also sent Hyman's son, John Glover, to the hospital. The family says Janaya was planning to become a high school teacher and touched countless lives with her TikTok videos. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. And infectious personality. She was an artist. She loves to paint, draw, and stuff like that. But it was something special about her. Janiah's loved ones pledge to keep her legacy alive and pay it forward in all the ways they can. I just want that to live on, that she wanted to take care of people wanted to be there for people. Nope. I will never let her name die. Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now. Now we're still waiting for more details about the driver police say was responsible for this crash. Funeral services for Janiah are scheduled for Tuesday at 2 p.m. at Walker Funeral Home. The family also tells us they have a balloon release for her later that day. Here's some new details released.